Hello everyone and welcome again to our daily gospel reflection on this solemnity of the nativity of John the Baptist. So we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue to listen from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The time came for Elizabeth to have her child, and she gave birth to a son. And when her neighbors and relations heard that the Lord had shown her a great kindness, they shared her joy. Now on the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child. They were going to call him Zechariah after his father, but his mother spoke up. No, she said, he is to be called John. They said to her, but no one in your family has that name, and made sign to his father to find out what he wanted him called. The father asked for a writing tablet and wrote, his name is John. And they were all astonished. At that instant, his power of speech returned, and he spoke and praised God. All their neighbors were filled with awe, and the whole affair was talked about throughout the hill country of Judea. All those who heard of it treasured it in their hearts. What will this child turn out to be? They wondered. And indeed, the hand of the Lord was with him. Meanwhile, the child grew up and his spirit matured. And he lived out in the wilderness until the day he appeared openly to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. The birth and naming of John the Baptist had a mixture of joy and controversy. While the neighbors celebrated during John's birth, confusion came during the rite of naming. We can understand and appreciate the controversy about the naming of John if we take into consideration the reality that Zechariah and Elizabeth were said to be advanced in age when John was conceived. <clears throat> While naming children with their own father's name or their ancestor's name is part of the Jewish sacred tradition, the drama of the naming of John made the twist of capturing the experience of his parents. The name John, which means Yahweh is gracious, was an expression of the sacred and meaningful experience of Zechariah and Elizabeth. They were more interested in expressing their mutual experience of the gener generosity of God to them rather than simply immortalizing their names. This might be a good thing to consider for parents when it comes to naming their children. Another thing I find interesting is that Zechariah accordingly gained back his speech after the naming. What is clear is that he started to praise God on the account of the graciousness of God to his family. He did not only name his religious experience, he also expressed it in a concrete way through praising God. As we celebrate today the solemnity of the Nativity of John the Baptist, we might as well reflect on how we could also give names to our sacred and meaningful experiences. In the name of the Father, 
and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So thank you very much once again and God bless. Thank you.